Good morning, everyone! The other day, I finally received my silver plug from YouTube, right? Ta-da! Can you see it? It says Samurai Matcha, 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so much! In my 100,000 subscriber celebration video, I said I was going to do Q&A and asked for questions all of you. I received a lot in the comments and I read it all. So today I'm gonna answer 32 of the most frequently asked questions and answer them quickly. So let's get started. Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, this is the most frequently asked questions and the answer is no. I love my village where I live, but one thing I don't like is that I rarely meet girls here. How would you describe yourself in one word? Oh, this is a good question. If I had to say, freedom. So one of the reasons I love minimalism is that it creates a lot of freedom, physically and mentally. So what's your zodiac sign? I'm Futagoza, I think Gemini in English. Are you a Zen Buddhist? My family believes in the Rinzai sect of Buddhism, one of the Zen sectors of Japan. But I wasn't that familiar with Zen Buddhism when I was a child. Rather, I learned about Zen a lot through the tea ceremony. So how old are you? I'm 34 years old, but I still feel like 20 years old. Do you practice Urasenke? Yes, Urasenke. I've been practicing that for over six years in Japan and Canada. So do you teach tea ceremonies? And if not, would you like to? So the answer is of course. Uh, I want to teach kind of simple and minimal style chanoyu, like I'm doing now. Yeah, so that you can do like every morning and calm your mind. So please look forward to seeing it in the future. So what's your favorite matcha? I made a video about matcha comparison before, so please watch that first. But nowadays, I'm using this Chaffinity a Gyokuro Matcha. So the great things about this matcha is totally organic and also stone milled. And then the taste is super rich. Moreover, this company is from the USA. The owner is Japanese American who is really nice. So you can buy that if you live in the United States. So what the book you think everyone should read? So this is my book box, so... As a minimalist, I would recommend Komori's The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. Yeah, I really recommend this one, of course. It's not just about tidying up, but it's full of Japanese philosophies. So I really love it. Do you never use pillows for sleeping? I used to use that, but I start not using one in the process of becoming a minimalist. When I really want to use one, I use this kimono, hold the kimono, and then sleep. How long did it take you to build your routine? I tried various things for about a year, and I ended up with this routine. My routine is still improving though. So what are your plans for the future regarding to your personal life? I have a lot of dreams, but if I had to choose one, I want to go on a trip with my bamboo bike again and see you guys and have delicious matcha together. So where you wanna go? So I'd like to travel to Europe because I've never been there. And I really want to go to Switzerland because I have many friends and it has been my dream since I was a child. I really want to make matcha with a breathtaking view of Switzerland. So what the social life in the village you live in? People are really nice in this village. And I live in a share house, so I sometimes eat dinner with my sharemate. And today, I'm gonna go see a movie with my sharemate. So I'm kind of lucky, like, I have many friends here. Could you tell me about the education system of Japan? I think, like, the good thing is the cleaning culture in the school. In Japanese school, there's a designated cleaning time for students and teachers. And we always clean our surroundings by ourselves. So I think this is the skill that will come in handy, even in adult food. On the contrary, the bad things is the education system itself. So usually until high school, they can only learn like specific subjects in the same way. So they can't choose to learn uh, what they really want to learn. 
so like special electives and other classes. In the Edo period, there are places called terakoya, which were schools that offered individualized instruction according to one's dreams. I think that such a school system should be returned in Japan. So next question, do you know where Americans can purchase authentic kimonos? Hmm, I think it's difficult to buy a kimono in America, so I always recommend this brand, Soso. So this company arranges modern style of kimono and they ship overseas. And other is to have it made at my favorite kimono shop, Azumaya. So this is it. They're specialized in cotton kimono, so you can wear it every day. If you'd like to connect with a kimono shop, please let me know in the comments. So next, what do Japanese think about foreigners wearing kimonos in Japan? This is a question asked so many times by many people. Please try it out. Okay, 99.9% .9 of Japanese would say to do so. Because many Japanese people are happy to see uh, foreigners wearing a kimono and celebrating Japanese culture. In particular, sadly, the Japanese culture is starting to decline. So when foreigners wear kimonos, Japanese people can see the specialness of kimonos again. That makes us very happy. So don't think too much about it, just try it out. Is it projected in the future making plans or looking at the past trying to learn from there? Or is it heading to the here and now? This is so philosophical question, but I try to answer it. So I'm gonna read my script, okay? First thing, I don't care about the past. Because the past changes its meaning depending on the state of oneself now. For example, even if you had a painful past, if you are happy now, you can be grateful for the past, right? I always have an image of what I want to be in the future. And I'm focused on the present. Yeah, that's it. Kiyaki. Hey. You like traveling, right? Yeah, I love traveling, yeah. If you could travel anywhere, where would you like to go? Oh, uh, like I said earlier, I really want to go to Switzerland. If I could travel in time, I want to go to the Edo period. Oh, really? Yes, because like it said that Edo period is the most peaceful and eco-friendly city. So I really want to see that. Please tell them about your family. Sure. Are they minimalist too? They are not a minimalist, only me. How do they feel about you being minimalist? Uh, they don't say anything about my minimal, minimalist lifestyle. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is really nice. Do you have any anime recommendations? Maybe like about a film. Summer Wars is the most interesting one I've ever seen. Okay, about an anime. Mm -hmm. I really love One Piece. And also nowadays, I'm really into Spy Family. Uh, the storyline is really, really interesting. What are your favorite places you visited in Japan? So there are many great places in Japan to visit. But personally, I really love Okinawa because it's warm and also the food is super delicious. And the people are laid back. Vending machine. And this one is, what is that? Some gadgets. So what do you think about social media? You can use it efficiently. It's really convenient, I think. It'll give you uh, useful information, and also it's really entertaining. But if not, maybe it ends up wasting your time and wasting your life. So we went to the wrong cinema, or part of the cinema. And now, I'm stuck holding this. And now we're turning around again. What do you do when friends and family come over? So my room is a space for me to relax. If they come over, uh, we hang out in living room or like kitchen area or outside. So it's just for you, right? Yeah, normally. Are you having fun window shopping? Oh yeah, look at this, so many things here. It's Tokyo Hansa in Nagoya. It's a pretty dangerous store. Yeah, dangerous store. I almost wanted to buy one or two things, but I didn't. Have you ever counted how many belongings you own? I haven't yet, but in the future, 
I will make a video about it, definitely. It was a great movie and now we can finally relax, right? Yes. And you're typically a really positive person. Yeah, like many people said that on YouTube in the comments. What helps you maintain your positive energy? I think like there are two things. First thing is uh, channel you, of course. That always makes me calm. Also like that helps me to focus on the now. Second thing is try not to watch TV and social media because like people's easy to uh, compare with other people. What's your friend's story? How yeah. did you two meet? Oh. And is your friend a minimalist too? Oh, that's a good question actually. Okay, well, hi. <laughs> what do I say, like my name? Yeah. So hi, I'm Jasmine. I'm Aki's friend. I mean, you may see me once in a while. Aki, I used to be an English teacher where Aki and I live in that village. And that's where we met in the same school where I taught English at. He was an elementary school teacher. And um, yeah, we just tend to go on adventures together. And here I am all the time. <laughs> Are you a minimalist? I am not a minimalist. I am not a maximalist, but I do like shopping. Hi, nice to meet you guys. <laughs> so do you have any recommendations for places to visit besides Tokyo and Kyoto? Oh yeah, many places. Like I recommend everyone to go to the countryside because they have like history and nature, beautiful natures, very good local people. The tip for traveling in Japan is that you should visit in the countryside and then talk to locals and you'll see more about Japan. For example, I've been to Shikoku area and also Nago Nagano where I live and Wakayama Prefecture. Uh, because it has a uh, Koya sun, so beautiful. I recommend there. Are there any tips how to start minimalism and what to avoid as a beginner? Okay, so there are many ways to become a minimalist. Just try to a uh, common method. And also like you can try get rid of one thing a day. And also you can get rid of two things if you buy one thing. Yeah, like you can try many things. But like important thing is like becoming a minimalist is not a goal. You, why you want to be a minimalist? What's your goal, real goal, to be a minimalist? How do you compare your life before and after minimalism? Oh yeah, it's completely different. First, I feel less stressed. And then I go to focus on my dreams. And also, I have like more time to do anything. Do you feel like your life is a lot more organized with minimalism? Yes. My room is organized and then my feeling my mind is organized too. So it's kind of connected. If you have less things, worries, anxieties, kind of also like less dangerous. <laughs> is that delicious? <laughs> Good. <laughs> if you have children, how will you keep your minimalist and matcha habits alive? Uh, of course, like the number of things is going to increase, but I try to be minimalist as much as possible. The standards of uh, minimalism uh, changes depending on the situation. Oh yeah, I'm so sleepy now. Thank you. <laughs> hey. Hey. Do you have any tips for first timer making YouTube videos? Yeah, first you have to choose a topic that you really like. Otherwise you get bored. You won't want to continue making videos. Like for me, like I love, really love making matcha, wearing a kimono. So like I love Japanese culture and also minimalism. So. I can like continue making those videos. I'm sure some people want to know. Okay. So who does the filming for you? <laughs> okay, so most of the time, only me. So I have to set up cameras, press the button and then start recording and uh, pick up the camera again. But like today, most of the time, my friend Jasmine uh, take a video for me. I'm just talking now, so it's really easy. Thank you. Okay. Well, now here. Say good night to everyone. Yeah, good night, everyone. And always I say, but I want to say, 
stay safe, have fun, and thank you for watching as usual. I hope to see you now. I hope to see you in I hope mom, 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 mom. oh my, my brain is not working. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.